Hello, Facebook friends. It's Carla, your online doctor, with today's Live in 5. Today is Wednesday, March 11th. It is 5 p.m. So we've been talking about vitamin D, okay? Um, And we're going to finish talking about that today and discussing how to get the supplement or this vitamin, I should say, from your food sources, okay? Not fortified foods like cereals and milk, but from real food, okay? First off, many fish are high in vitamin D, such as halibut, carp, mackerel, eel, salmon, whitefish, swordfish, rainbow trout, sardines, and tuna, okay? On average, wild salmon contains 1,000 international units per 3.5 ounce serving. That's pretty darn good. Farmed salmon is only 25% that amount. Clearly we know wild salmon is better. Pickled herring is about 700 international units per 3.5 ounce serving. Personally, that's a lot of herring to eat at one time, but I'm up for the challenge. Okay, and halibut is about 600 international units per serving. Now, other options for vitamin D include cod liver oil containing 450 international units per teaspoon, whole eggs, or more specifically for vitamin D, it's in the yolks. Pasture-raised chicken eggs have about 150 international units per yolk. Okay, other foods, mushrooms. Mushrooms are the only plant source of vitamin D. They synthesize vitamin D when exposed to light. Unfortunately, they make vitamin D2. Animals are the only ones that make vitamin D3. Now, what about cow's milk? In many countries, it is fortified with vitamin D, with about 130 international units per eight ounces. Soy milk is fortified with vitamin D, about 100 international units per eight ounces. Orange juice has 140 international units per cup again, per eight ounces. Cereal or oatmeal, about a half a cup, contains 50 to 150 international units. Now remember, these things that are fortified with vitamin D are usually fortified with vitamin D2, which is not what you really want. You really need the vitamin D3. Okay, so after all this talk, here are some of the true benefits of vitamin D. Number one, it contributes to bone health by increasing calcium absorption into the bones. Straight out, plain and simple, that's what it does. Number two, it protects against cancer. As mentioned before in the last couple of days, vitamin D deficiency has been correlated with an increased risk for cancer development, specifically breast, colon, and prostate. Again, it's not a direct cause, but they correlate. A 2018 study found postmenopausal women with a 25 hydroxy vitamin D level greater than 60 have one fifth the risk of breast cancer compared to those with a vitamin D level less than 20. That is huge. Okay, one fifth the risk. Number three, vitamin D combats cardiovascular disease. Research is showing that vitamin D helps regulate blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and levels of inflammation. Number four, this is huge right now. Vitamin D enhances the immune system. Our immune cells contain receptors for vitamin D, and it's been shown that vitamin D prevents prolonged or excessive inflammation, the root cause of many autoimmune disorders. And number five, it helps with concentration and memory. Some studies show people with lower vitamin D levels perform poorly on standardized tests, have poor decision-making skills, and difficulty with tasks that require focus and attention. So there are plenty of reasons why you need your vitamin D. Again, discuss this with your healthcare provider, get your blood test, levels checked to see where you're at and I would strongly suggest this is what I'm doing start yourself on some vitamin D vitamin D3 make sure that you're combining it with other fat uh, fat soluble vitamins Uh, K2 is also good to add in there make sure you're taking it again anytime you're having a fat soluble vitamin you want to take it with a fatty meal it increases the absorption and by fatty meal I don't mean like you have to be eating 
Parmesan, you know, like chicken Parmesan, just something that has fat in it, whether it's peanut butter or any type of fish, something that's going to help bring that vitamin D into the body. So if you missed any of the talks on vitamin D, go back and check yesterday and the day before. These are really, really important things to know about a pretty simple vitamin slash hormone that you can take and just make th a lot of things better. So on that note, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'll see you again tomorrow for another Live in 5.